wonder where Captain Hook lives on the ship. Right in here. What's gonna happen to Peter Pan tonight, Daddy? The two girls wanna hear a different story. No! Okay, well, even I'm leaving my husband. I've decided that. I'm here to ask how. Go on. Well, how do I do it without pulling apart my children's lives? Destroying my family. You're pulling your family apart. What you need to do is reorder it. We'll talk about rituals, routines that you can start now that don't include your husband. So when the kids are in a new home, a single parent situation, there'll be some familiarity. Hello? Sure. Peter? It's a team doctor. Hello? Hey, Scott Kaplan, Colorado. Uh, just following protocol, let you know that Colin had a fall. He was out of action yesterday, but back on the bike today. Looks great. So, um... Yeah, wait a minute. What's, uh, what was wrong with him? Uh, just abrasions, minor lacerations. I'll fax my notes. So why was he down for a day? Uh, sorry. He was bleeding. You couldn't stop that bleeding. That's a question, Dr. Kaplan. Mr. Schaefer, the men on this team are my patients. Save the doctor-patient confidentiality. For your own practice. That is my team. You work for me, but not for much longer if I don't get a straight answer. Is Colin taking a blood thinner? Possibly. That's all I need to know. Look, I... I gotta catch a plane. I'm sorry. I, I wanted to take... You know, more than an afternoon, I'll take a few days off with the kids. It's okay. And you. I'll make this up to you. Tell me about the third party. Cameron? You said you'd been with him in the past. It was high school and some college. He went, I didn't. And when you broke up, how was that for you? It nearly killed me. Hi. Cameron. Is Peter home? Because I need to talk to you about him. Oh. Come in. The investors are freaking out. Colin walked out of an interview. Peter had to pull the whole publicity campaign. I know. He's been having a really rough time. Which is why... You haven't told him about us? Well, I'm not going to. I mean, I'm leaving. There's no question of that anymore, but... I talked to a therapist, and she said I can't count on Peter's reaction, and it's just better for the girls if they don't know the truth. Now, the therapist, she said that I, I should just get everything set up, you know, find a place, a home, to give the girls some stability. There was one other thing that she asked me and I couldn't answer. Okay. What is it? What's wrong? When I do this, you're gonna be there for me? Of course. Forever? I mean, I know that sounds crazy and maybe unfair, but I am giving up everything. I can't lose you again. Nina. I can't imagine a time when I didn't or wouldn't love you. You're sure? Yeah, of course I am.
Daddy usually tells you the story of Peter Pan at night. Let's call him. Well, not right now, sweetheart. What I'm trying to say is, you know, sometimes Daddy is going to tell you the story, and sometimes Mommy will. Sweetheart, what are you doing? Oh, perfect, Daisy. Now, Daddy won't miss a thing. Together, always. That's the best. Right, Mama? Peter's back. But I've barely seen him. Yeah, well, I have. I'm uh, taking over the company for him. It's really just a show for the investors, and it's temporary. But... But what? Well, then there's Beth. She wants to start a family on her own, only there's complications with adoption with a single parent. Cameron, I, you know, I spent the entire day looking for a new house for me and my kids. Did you find anything? No. I mean, everything seems wrong, you know, but then so does staying. I mean, Peter comes home, it's like I don't even know what to say to him. I mean, I've changed, and I, I've changed towards him. What I'm trying to say is I don't want to drag this out. I don't either, which is why we're keeping this a secret until enough time goes by and people think that we got together while we were both single. And you'll wait for me? Why wouldn't I? Because I didn't in the past. Because of Beth. Nina, come on. I want to trust you, Cameron. I'm just scared, that's all. I have something to show you. I have to get home soon. It won't take long. Just, just come with me. I'll drive you back here to your car. at the golf course. Every time you drive me home, it, we'd pass it, and I would say how much I loved it. The great thing is it's in the same school district for Violet and Daisy, and it's got a huge backyard. You got room for a pool, trampoline, anything you want. You still like it? Is it for rent? No. No, not anymore. I bought it for you. Oh, I overstepped, didn't I? It's not my place. <laughs> it's ours. Wow. There's a guest unit in the back, like a playroom or a study. Or I thought maybe if you wanted living help. It's perfect. And this is a tree. I can see that. <laughs> it's a lilac tree. It's strong and it can hold up against a lot. But it takes time, the whole winter, to fully bloom. And by the time it does, we're going to be past all the hard stuff, all the pain. We're going to be happy, Nina. Take it away. 